Hello and welcome aboard our 2018 Azimuth 54 Flybridge. It's winter in New York, unfortunately with shrink wrap, but we wanted to give you a nice walk through the boat. We're going to move quickly based on the weather, it's pretty uh, cold up here. So we're going to start at the back of the boat. All of our Azimuth Flybridges have a hydraulic swim platform, which is great for taking a tender with you. Let you get it on and off the boat very simply. We use it often for swimming off of when we get where we're going, we drop it in the water. Not uncommon to see a pile of kids sitting there eating chicken and having a good time. So you come into the cockpit, we've got great storages both sides for all your dock lines, anything you might need. Uh, all of our cleaning is up uh, belt buckle heights, you're not on your hands and knees when you hang fenders or work lines, very convenient. And we've got these nice cockpit winches, so instead of trying to tug your boat over to the dock, you're able to throw a line on a cleat, get it around your capstan press the pedal with your foot and cranks you right in quick and easy so anyone of any age really can get it tied up very quickly sprung nice and tight moving over here best part of the boat I would tell you breakfast lunch and dinner is out here for me you're shaded you're out of a little drizzle but it's really nice to sit here watch your family on the beach you take a swim come back in we got a transom shower on the back hot and cold water so it's nice again to sit that six eight people sometimes I'll just have my chairs against the door have a nice cup of coffee in the morning, I'm out of the uh, sun. And again, just uh, watching the birds on the beach and enjoying the morning. Uh, this area here, you've got a drop-in fridge over here on this side. The beverages, it'll actually become a freezer if you like. And on this side, we've got access to crew cabin. This will just have a single bunk. Unfortunately, we got uh, some fenders in there now. But uh, basically it's got a single bunk, the gyro stabilizer is behind that, that's going to keep the boat from rocking, keep it very level, very safe, and uh, comfortable for everybody on board. Power on this boat is 725 Volvo, rated cruise 26, 28 knots, top speed 32 knots. Very fuel efficient, very comfortable to run, get you anywhere you want to go. The other thing I like on the boat, uh, two things actually. Battery mains are at a height. I can turn them on and off very easily. I don't have to climb into an engine room to turn on batteries or engine mains. And then also we have these really nice side boarding gates. So as I come in and out of the boat, they open easy. Gets me on the uh, side dock very simply. Piece of cake. So again, moving around the boat is very, very simple. Now we're going to go into the salon. This boat you can see has a white ash interior. It's just beautiful. It really brightened the boat up. This area we have a nice uh, C-shaped settee. You've got a pull-out sofa bed that can sleep another two people if you like. So this boat will sleep eight inside, another one in the crew cabin. So it'll actually sleep nine at 50 feet. Very impressive. All of our boats we're going to come up with a complete AV package. This is a high-low TV obviously. We've got Bose Home Theater through the boat, and then through all the cabins, we've got TVs with sound bars, uh, music through the boat, so very, very uh, comprehensive AV package. We've got DSS up top, so it's really a turnkey package. Really don't need to do anything. Uh, this one, this goes down. It's a nice area to put some food out. You can serve in, serve out. You've got plenty of storage here for car keys, wallet, any of that, some of your AV uh, um, controls. Here's some of your glasses and plates. Ice maker is over here. And the one thing you're never going to need on an azimuth is more storage. They they really uh, got loads of storage. So here again, just more drop in. Here's the rest of your glasses here. So everything you need to uh, enjoy. Stepping up. Very nice arrangement here. You've got two at the lower helm. This also adjusts where this is going to drop down and come forward so this can enlarge the actual dinette. So generally you're not driving and dining at the same time. When you get somewhere you shut down, I'll generally drop this down. And you can see very easily six, six to eight in here. The boat will come with two deck chairs that can be outside or inside. They have rubber bottoms so you don't have to worry about damaging your floor. And you've got this nice removable center that will pop out so that if you're just uh, snacking, maybe uh, entertaining a little bit, not having a full meal, you can pop this out. This lets people get in and out easy without having to have everybody scooch up to get around. The other thing I notice on all of our boats, we've got best-in-class salon windows. So you're going to see as much glass as you can put on a boat as possible. Unfortunately, again, we're shrink-wrapped and we have our masks on. 
But on a beautiful day, you, anywhere you sit in our boats, you're going to be able to look out the side. The side windows are mirrored. They give you privacy. They cut heat. And again, I don't have to sit up to see out. I just anywhere I look, I'm looking at the, the sea, the beach, really what's going on around me. At the same time, I have privacy. Very large forward windshield, one mullion, not more, so visibility is great. And then here at your lower helm, you're going to see a Raymarine Platinum package. There's going to be two large displays. Radar, GPS, chart, plotter, sounder, VHF, you know, everything you need to run a boat properly. Your sea keeper controls are here. We also have a, a joystick controller from Zenta, so the boat can go forward, reverse, sideways. You spin this like a doorknob, that's what the boat does. So very simple to run. Controls are electronic. The other thing I like on this particular boat, the lower helm is on the right, upper helm is on the left. So if I have a starboard side tie-up, I might be inclined to come down here. Port side tie up, I could be up top, but e either either helm I have very good visibility. Down below we have power windows both sides, so we get some nice airflow. We usually have these windows open in the fall in Newport. The portholes open as well on the boat, and really we don't need air conditioning. We had a real nice breeze. All the windows down below have screens, so you don't have to worry about any boats. That's pretty much it here. Across is your uh, your galley area, which is nice. It's right across from the helm. So this is what you say is a galley up. We've got a full-size fridge here. Fridge freezer. We've got another freezer out back. Uh, fridge freezer out back and another refrigerator up top. So you really have tons of room for storage for uh, beverages and food. This will be your, uh, your uh, 110 panel running uh, your short power and that type stuff generator start is on here so everything easy to get to one one nice easy spot your appliances a mealy they're trouble free convection microwave and then a uh, mealy hob again we uh you almost said it and forget it I, I can't remember us having an issue with one of these appliances but it's really a, a an informal layout nice and open i can kind of cook entertain same time a ball game's on or tv whatever i'm doing and in the evening, you've got nice drapes that'll uh, come down, close the curtain. I have a lot of privacy. It's like a beautiful apartment. I really love this arrangement. Um, coming forward, uh, we did this a couple of years ago. We just had an open area. We just threw a little additional storage. Get a nice place for binoculars, first aid kits, anything related to the boat. You, as you know, you can't have enough storage. And I didn't open everything, but you do have storage below everything here. Another nice area here when I'm out, we usually have nice uh, canvas type uh, arrangements you hold, but a good place for your chips and snacks and all kinds of things. Uh, charts, magazines, so really quite a large area. And uh, we don't waste any space. The other thing that's very impressive on this boat is you've got a center companionway. So whether you've got things in your hand or not, you can walk up and down freestanding, no twisting and turning. So let's go down below, we'll start with the VIP cabin. Now into the VIP, uh, again, a lot of room, a lot of light, very bright, and uh, I always walk in these boats and I'm always very impressed. But we do a great job on the practical side. You have a his and hers uh, folded area, so let's say uh, underwear, socks, t-shirts, swim trunks, all that type of stuff can go right in these lockers. One for this guest, one for the other. We've got these beautiful eyebrow windows, and you'll see we're really a leader. What we do today, someone else is doing next year. So instead of a little porthole here, we've got these large eyebrow windows. Each one has an opening with a screen. But when I'm in bed, I, I can be watching TV at the same time. I can see what's going outside my window. Uh, so again, I've got a nice sight without working hard. Everything is just, just so. Uh, you've got another hatch overhead for uh, uh, light. You've got a screen for fresh air. So you actually have three opening ports here. And then as the VIP, we're going to see we have our own bathroom access right here. So we don't have to leave the cabin. You've got these really nice... Uh, Bathrooms, nice mirrors, plenty of cupboard space, and again, a, a, a beautiful stainless porthole with screen. Right now, everything's winterized, so I apologize for any, uh, any freeze you're seeing. But nice pull around shower. Here again is your AV, your cinema bar, so again, uh, very well done. 
And then you've got two large lockers here. They're very slick. You don't even know how they open. But this is going to be a large hanging locker on this side with a little shelf up top. The other side you're going to see another area with a little more uh, shelving. So an area to place some shoes or uh, hanging things or uh, stack, but whatever, whatever you like. But plenty of storage. I'm not going to show you now, but there's also additional storage under the bed. The same bathroom would be your day head, so if you were boarding, if you had someone aboard that needed a bathroom, this is the one they're going to use. The door will be closed and they'll come and go through this area. The other thing we hear a lot is the pull around showers. A lot of people like where maybe a small child uh, was swimming all day, they're getting ready to go to dinner, they can get a small child in there. Mother or a parent can uh, assist uh, getting the sand off the child and uh, easy to shower, get, get them cleaned up ready for dinner. So it really works out well. Now we'll go into the guest cabin. What's great at this size, we have a side-by-side -side bunk, so it's 54 feet. What's great here, I have daughters, it's not uncommon. Four girls might be in here watching a movie, they'll close the door and they can uh, spend time in here. We find sometimes with stacked bunks, you might sleep in it, but you're not going to hang around. Um, and also an adult couple, if we're back to the boat at four and dinner's at six, easy to take a shower. They'll come in here, take a nap. Maybe someone's taking a nap. Maybe someone's watching the news low. But you, people will stay in here with this split bunk. It, it's not just sleeping only. They'll hang around in here a little, little more. Here again, a nice porthole, nice TV with cinema bar, plenty of lighting. There's a little uh, storage area underneath here for your remotes and wallets and some of that stuff. But really nice sized and really nice looking. So uh, anytime I'm in one of these boats again, I really dig the decor. Very slick. Uh, very luxurious and at the same time comfortable. Now we'll go to the master. So the master on the azimuth is always uh, just beautiful. Uh, what you can see here, we've been doing this for a while, you'll see other people uh, copying it a little bit, but we've got a nice set tee here. So it's really set up right at a window. I love sitting at it. Uh, for me, I, I'd enjoy a cup of coffee here every morning. If you want to read the news or, or read a book or do your makeup, it's really uh, just a home run. So this side is set up for just writing instruments, some of that type of stuff or anything related to the boat, or whatever you want to put in there. This side we've got is a makeup mirror and uh, what a nice spot to sit in the morning. Again, I got a perfect view of the beach. Not uncommon to see a couple of ducks swim by or kids uh, on a boat enjoying their time with their friends. So you really get to see what's going on around you. Here again, very well uh, ventilated. You've got opening ports on both sides with screens. And at night, you're really just going to give a little turn on the rod. These will black out. You have total privacy. So uh, really can't say enough. And it's just very comfortable. Um, I enjoy sitting here all the time. And... Uh, Everything's sized right. Uh, as I move through the boat in heavy conditions, if I got to get somewhere, you'll see handholds all through the boat. So if you needed to grab onto something, you know, a lot of safety. And it's it's everywhere. It says you leave the cabin here, here. Sometimes maybe I'm coming back to get something in these rear lockers. So very large storages again. So nice area for folded clothing. And you don't even know they open. You have to figure this out. But we don't have a lot of ugly handles. We have nice slick arrangement. And uh, here's a beautiful hanging locker again. All our boats have full-length mirrors, so someone can make sure they're looking sharp at the dinner. But again, more shoe area. You've got a safe. Plenty of room for hanging clothing. The bed is going to lift up, give you a large, soft, good storage there. So. Any of your linens and towels or soft buffles can go there, and then look at this, huge. This for me would be uh, books, sweatshirts, some of that type stuff, but I can really get things put away. And then the bed is slightly angled, so instead of just looking forward at the wall, you know, from the bed you can really look out a window. So it, it saves room in the boat, it gives you a little more uh, length in the rest of the boat, at the same time easy to get on and off the bed, and I'm not just stuck looking at a wall all day. Um, 
But here we've got a nice TV with Cinnabar bar. Again, the sound that comes out of these is just amazing. No speakers hanging up in here. And then this normally would be another hanging locker. This particular boat is set up with a washer dryer here. So what you've got is a little area for soaps or any of that. We do have a receiver here for DSS, but it is an area where I can put some dryer sheets or uh, laundry soap, that type thing. And then here, this is a combo unit. So this is very convenient for swim trunks, shorts, t-shirts, that type thing. We generally like to do a load when we go to dinner, so you come back, it's done. You're not sitting around waiting on it. And you can uh, travel with less clothing, which is very convenient. Also, um, I, I just can't get over how nice this decor is. It's beautiful. Also at night, you know, it's tough when I'm looking at the boat at night, but in the evening, you've got dimmers on the lights. And every time I'm aboard one of these boats, you can even see how this looks a little different, very textured, but depending on the light you look at it, it, it could look gold, it can look uh, more ivory, but boy, anytime I'm in it, it's usually when I'm watching a movie, and I start looking around and I see all the design elements, people race through the boats very quickly, but all these boats are so beautiful, there's nothing to me that really uh, jumps in at me and says something we should be doing differently, uh, especially a uh, low light situation at night, there's enough light to move through the boat safely, I'm usually up checking on anchoring at night while everyone's sleeping, the lights are low on the floor, I, I can look around, I feel safe, I get back to bed and uh, really feel feel good. So that's pretty much going to wrap up our quick walkthrough of the boat. The flybridge is closed, it's shrink wrapped unfortunately. Uh, the flybridge I would say can hold about 12 to 14 people. One of the big things we do there, we, have a, we just have tons of room everywhere, but ergonomically our large, we have large sun pads that have these very tall backrests that are angled properly. So it's not uncommon if I'm heading somewhere, I might be uh, headed to Newport, you know, four hour ride, or I'm heading to Port Jeff for an hour. But my, my family and guests can sit back, their back is supported, they can have their arm around each other, but I can run at a single seat helm, and I can have about five people sitting to the right of me. Very, very comfortable, and you basically get up to you, get a beverage or use a bathroom, but you, you can take these long trips. Sometimes my daughters put a couple of pillows there and just lie down. Sometimes I might have uh, three to four couples up there for a short ride uh, Oyster Bay for snacking and swimming in uh, Bayville. But it, it, the comfort is unbelievable. And then down goes the lift. We're swimming all day, snorkeling, fishing. I mean, the, the boat is just outstanding. And I hope, I hope sometime soon we'll see you at our dealerships or at a boat show near you. So thanks for watching and thanks for your interest in Azimut Yachts.